particularly glad uh, uh, to be here today to present the data of this phase two, three uh, multi-center trial which was conducted both in Europe and in the US for addressing what uh, really represent uh, an unmet medical need, uh, namely the treatment of uh, uh, patients with uh, primary HLH. Uh, primary hemophagocytic lymphocytosis is a rare uh, disorder characterized by hyperinflammation. Uh, it has been estimated to occur in around uh, one newborn and 50,000. And uh, it is characterized by severe clinical signs and symptoms which, uh, if not promptly recognized and timely treated, can uh, even lead uh, uh, to the death uh, of patients. And these symptoms include prolonged fever, splenomegaly, and in general, uh, also hepatomegaly, profound cytopenia, hyperferritinemia, and uh, hypercytokinemia. Available conventional therapy for primary HLH have uh, uh, mainly two goals. Uh, uh, initially, to dampen uh, the hyperinflammation which characterizes this disease, uh, and uh, the Istiocyte Society launched in 1994 the first multicenter trial for treating patients uh, with a combination of steroids and uh, etoposide. Uh, this led uh, to a significant improvement in the probability of survival uh, of these children in comparison to the few initial reports uh, on this disease, but you can certainly agree with me that there was room uh, for improving because the long-term outcome show a probability of overall survival only in the order of 54%. The addition of cyclosporin A uh, with the scope of modulating uh, the T cell hyperactivation didn't result uh, in a significant uh, uh, improvement. And there are no standardized therapy for those patients who fail frontline uh, treatment, although alentuzumab and anti-CD50 to monoclonal antibody has been reported to be effective in some retrospective analysis. And in general, the chemoimmunotherapy that I was mentioning before uh, results in profound immune suppression uh, and uh, when patients are given etoposide also in myelosuppression. And uh, this precludes uh, significantly a good uh, chance to be cured by the only available curative treatment, which is represented by allogeneous stem cell transplantation. Indeed, uh, most patients with primary HLH have uh, defects in gene uh, known to regulate uh, the trafficking, docking, uh, fusion and release of, cytotox of uh, cytotoxic granules of both T-lymphocytes and NK cells. Several clinical and experimental data suggest that uh, the key cytokine playing the major role in the pathophysiology of primary HLH uh, is uh, interferon gamma. Indeed, elevated patients of interferon gamma can be found uh, in patients with primary HLH. Uh, and uh, in a mice model of uh, HLH characterized by bialytic mutation of perforin, uh, which is one of the genes known uh, to cause uh, HLH uh, and uh, children demonstrated uh, a significant improvement in the probability of survival of these mice. So all this data led uh, to the development of an anti-interferon gamma uh, monoclonal antibody for treating this patient. The monoclonal antibody is called imapalumab, and in this cartoon uh, you can uh, appreciate how the monoclonal antibody works. Uh, indeed, it is a fully, a fully human IgG1 uh, able to recognize uh, 
both free interferon gamma and interferon gamma bound to its receptor. And the use of this monoclonal antibody uh, impairs the dimerization of uh, the interferon gamma receptors, this blocking the cascade of the event activated by the hyperproduction of interferon gamma. Uh, the trial that I will present uh, both today in the HFDA meeting and tomorrow morning uh, in the late breaking abstract session uh, was conducted uh, in nine European centers and six U.S. centers. I'd like to acknowledge uh, uh, the role of my co-PI in U.S., namely Dr. Jordan from uh, uh, Cincinnati. Uh, the aim of the study was that of uh, evaluating uh, how the neutralization of interferon gamma can impact on the curves uh, of uh, uh, this disease, uh, and we treated uh, that both patients who failed previous therapy, they were indeed the majority, 27 out of the 34 treated patients, or even uh, patients we, who were and naive of any treatment, seven additional uh, patients. Uh, this is the study design. The treatment duration uh, uh, was at least uh, four weeks uh, up uh, to eight weeks, uh, and patients at the end of this treatment can either continue the monoclonal antibody till allergenist and cell transplantation for those patients who carry uh, the genetic defect known to cause uh, HLH, or can discontinue treatment and enter into the long-term follow-up study. The monoclonal antibody was initially administered at a dose of uh, one milligram per kg uh, twice a week, uh, and in case uh, of uh, not perfect control of the disease, uh, it could be increased uh, up to 3, 6, uh, and uh, uh, N1 patient, 10 milligram uh, per kg. These patients also were given simultaneously the examethasone at the dosage of uh, 5 to 10 milligram, uh, which could be tapered according uh, to the assessment of the treating physician. Since around one-third of children with primary HLH have a CNS involvement, uh, intratical therapy was also recommended. As I mentioned before, we included overall 34 patients, 27 were treated with the drug in second line, a median age, uh, uh, was uh, around one year with uh, an equal distribution between uh, males and females. And you can see that around 80% uh, uh, of all these patients carry the BLA mutation of gene responsible for HLH, including uh, uh, perforin or MUNC or syntaxin or syntaxin binding protein. Uh, the primary efficacy of point of the study was the overall response rate, uh, and uh, uh, we found that, that uh, uh, both uh, in the world population of patients and in children treated as second line, uh, the overall response rate was significantly higher than the pre-specified new hypothesis of 40%. Uh, and also the investigator assessment confirm exactly uh, this data. This is clearly demonstrating that the drug uh, is able to control uh, the hyperinflammation driven uh, by interferon gamma. A uh, secondary efficacy endpoint where the median time to overall response, which was indeed uh, uh, very fast because uh, it was uh, eight days uh, in uh, both uh, study population. This meaning that after the second uh, dose of the monoclonal antibody, these patients uh, reach uh, uh, their uh, uh, response. And the median cumulative uh, uh, duration of response uh, uh, until the start of conditioning regimen for transplantation uh, was in the order uh, of uh, 
uh, five uh, weeks uh, for a bird patient who had failed previous therapy and uh, all same patient treated uh, uh, has front line. And uh, uh, patients uh, uh, overall were in response for a median of 75 days uh, during treatment. In terms of uh, uh, safety and tolerability, uh, of course, uh, uh, this being a population of uh, children very fragile, uh, it's not surprising that uh, several adverse events uh, were recorded, uh, but uh, a serious adverse event uh, uh, were recorded in half of the patients, but only uh, in one of the uh, 34 patients, it led uh, to treatment discontinuation. So in view of uh, these results, on November 20, FDA approved emapalumab as a first agent uh, uh, for uh, uh, patients, both adults and children, newborns and olders, with primary HLH uh, refractory to the treatment or relapsing after the treatment or not fully responding uh, to the other agents uh, uh, or intolerant to the, to the therapy. So I will be more than happy to take any other question. Thank you.